Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. My name is Greg and in, in the first episode of 2019 I'm going to be showing you guys how to half your editing speeds and overall make you a better editor. Now these few hacks that I have for you today, if you learn them over time you will eventually be able to edit let's say in an hour and a half vlog down to 45 minutes. So you guys are actually saving a lot of time that you, so that you can edit more projects, make more money, film more uh, and overall to be uh, a lot quicker. Uh, so today we're talking uh, favorite folders and presets in Premiere and how to combine all of those into one to make your editing way faster. So let's get into Premiere and I'll show you guys how it's done. So once you guys have opened up your project, I'm going to show you these few hacks. Now the first hack I'm going to talk about is favorite folders. If you guys go down to your uh, effects and presets um, tab, uh, you'll see this little custom bin button in the bottom right corner of the of the tab. If you click on that, you'll now create your own custom bin. For this video, I've already made one that is called favorites. Uh, so you can just name yours favorites or whatever you would like. Uh, most used transitions. Now in this favorites folder, what you'll put there is you'll put your transitions, your presets, your color grading presets, your uh, audio transitions, your video transitions, everything you need goes in that folder. And it's a lot quicker to find your stuff um, and to access it instead of scrolling through all the millions of menus. So to get these um, effects into your favorites folder, you're gonna need to search up your effect. So I'm gonna search, let's say, crop, because let's say I use that a lot. You're gonna drag that into your favorites folder. Now every time you open up your favorites folder, bam, crop is right there, ready for you to drag straight onto your clips. Now you guys can do this with all of your different things. You can use your audio effect, your video transitions, everything, you can put everything there. Now that just organizes all of your stuff a little bit better. Now the next thing I wanna show you is how to create your own presets and put them inside of your favorites folder so that when you're doing a massive project like, let's say if you're doing a My Year video or whatever or a vlog or something and you have a constant color grade for the whole thing and you don't wanna to have to continuously recolor grade every clip, you can go over onto your clip with your color grade Select Lumetri color that you, the, in the effects control panel, right click on it, and click save preset. Now you can name your preset, so let's say I'll name this one tutorial, for the sake of this tutorial, and I'll click OK. Now, OK, so you'll find your um, preset that you saved under presets, which is the top, uh, top list of your effects and presets panel. And all you have to do is the same thing, you go find it, and you drag it straight down into your favorites column and it'll go right with your crop and whatever other transitions and effects you have there. And then simply all you do is you drag it and drop it on your next clip and there you go. Your clip is now exactly the same, uh, color graded exactly the same as the previous color grade and you've also just made your first preset. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It is the first one of 2019. Um, I'm going to be starting a couple of new things this year. Uh, today is going to be the first one. It's going to be called 3 Minute Thursday, where I uh, try and teach you something in 3 minutes. Uh, I'm going to have something on Saturday called 60 Second Saturday, where I give you very quick uh, tips that make uh, a big difference to your editing. And then the big tutorial will be on Tuesday, so it'll be called Tutorial Tuesday. And that will be where I do the long, complex tutorials uh, where you guys can learn really awesome effects. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please consider subscribing. Um, my goal for this year is to reach 10,000 subscribers. I think that's very possible. Um, so guys, yeah, please go subscribe, comment, and like, and share this video. And I'll see you on Saturday. Cheers.